Okay, good morning. Uh, this is a presentation about the practical demonstrator we have done uh, in Project Zero Win. Um, my name is Paula Ranz from Trama Tecnoambiental in Spain, Barcelona. And uh, our particular application of the Zero Win project has been the design for recycling uh, in the sector of photovoltaic and solar energy. We have done this work with uh, other colleagues in, in the project, as indicated in this uh, first slide. First of all, um, what we have done, uh, it is important to understand uh, when we talk about photovoltaic uh, systems that we are talking about electricity producing uh, facilities or plants. Mm -hmm. um, we distinguish inside a PV system uh, three subsystems we see here in the drawing in this figure first of all the PV array composed by the PV modules and the structure the power conditioning subsystem which could be something like the drain mm, control unit um, of the of the plant and then what we call the other balance of systems the other um, equipment mainly the batteries cabling conduit protection etc mm. In this uh, uh, practical demonstrator, we have worked at two levels. First of all, we have worked at the power conditioning level. We have developed an advanced prototype of power conditioning. Mm -hmm. We could say we've been working at the component level. And then once this prototype has been ready, we have integrated it into the whole PV system, the whole PV plant. Mm -hmm. um, we have taking into account the two type of, uh, type of typologies or architectures of previous systems that are, are could be considered, um, operation, op operating in a standalone um, fashion or way, uh, which means um, just a PV plant uh, supplying the load, or operate, operating um, connected to a grid mm, or feeding this electricity to a grid. Mm. So we have, uh, in the, during this project and this demonstrator, we have um, assessed both configurations or both architectures. All right, so going into the first part of our work, as I mentioned, we're working at the component level. Um, in this diagram, you can see the, the um, topology that we, we developed um, for the power conditioning. The power conditioning uh, subsystem um, has different components, or we, as you can see in this uh, list of uh, different equipment or components. Uh, number three, the battery, the charge controller, mm -hmm. but also the supervisory controller. And number seven as well, the bidirectional inverter. These three uh, components are what we call power conditioning. And this power conditioning prototype has been designed following the principles of the, the, the B4R, designed uh, for four Rs. The first R being the reuse. Mm -hmm. So we have worked, uh, we, have, we have developed this prototype, uh, thinking, make it, trying to make it uh, the most versatile uh, possible to allow, uh, to begin with the operation under these two architectures, standalone or grid connected, or a mixed possibility, meaning we can be connected to the grid, but also having our battery. So of course we need uh, an advanced uh, control system and communications between the different uh, components and um, to make all these things uh, compatible. The second R stands for recycling. In the design of this prototype, we have um, introduced uh, modularity. Mm -hmm. We have uh, designed the, the, the printed circuits in a way that they could be scaled up or scaled down if necessary uh, to, to be able to to adapt to changes, eventual changes in the demand. Also, um, we've uh, worked on the issue of repair, making uh, easy, making the replacement of some components easier, so that in case of failure, some components uh, fail. Um, then only these components uh, can be accessed and, and replaced if necessary, while the rest of the of the, um, of the, of the equipment is still uh, in, in good shape, in good use, and doesn't need to be replaced. The whole um, um, 
charge controller, just those components that are effectively uh, damaged. And finally, the, the last R, um, the making it easy to refurbish. Um, we have also introduced a set of measures to to facilitate the updating, the upgrading of the, of the software and the drivers that that uh, control this prototype. Um, one of the uh, principles uh, of this advanced power con conditioning is, of course, to make it possible to control and monitor the whole uh, plant mm, and to be able to take the best decisions at, at all times. Um, in order to improve the environmental performance of PV systems, um, basically we were faced with the challenge of increasing the efficiency. What we call in this in the solar PV uh, world, we call it the performance ratio or PR. So um, an improvement of the efficiency or performance ratio uh, can only be done by a very fine uh, control and monitoring of, of uh, all the components and peripherals of the power plant mm -hmm. to make sure that the match between uh, the electricity that is uh, being supplied and consumed and the electricity that is being generated is as close as possible to this, the, the efficiency. At the same time, um, another option that um, includes flexibility and also efficiency is um, um, it enables uh, to, to, to really maximize the, the output of the PV plant is the enabling of self-storage, self-consumption when we are connected to the grid. Mm -hmm. This is kind of when we began this project was a kind of a very new approach. It was only in theory uh, that uh, had been discussed or developed. And thanks to this zero wind project, we've been able to demonstrate it in, in practical terms, um, uh, having batteries and and being grid connected at the same time. This is an example in this graph, an example of the, the kind of monitoring software that we we have um, been considering in, in the prototype design. Okay, once the power conditioning prototype uh, was ready and and running um, as we wanted. Then we proceeded to the second phase, as I mentioned in the beginning, integration of these um, power conditioning to a complete uh, PV system and uh, to test uh, all these improvements in a, in a real operational working environment. Um, in this integration of complete PV system, we have used uh, several uh, strategies, um, selection of components with lower environmental impact, um, for instance, the use of off specifications PV modules, um, the use of recycling uh, material, or uh, increase uh, the rate of, of, of recycled reused material in, in the PV plant. Um, also, we've worked in the line of using lithium ion batteries that have their extended life um, as compared to the, the typical uh, lead acid batteries that are included in PV systems. Also, we've worked uh, quite intensively um, in the involvement uh, in the line of involving um, different stakeholders um, that uh, that can uh, maximize the, the electric mobility and the um, uh, lower environmental impact of, of the PV plants. Uh, it, this was uh, quite of an interesting job as well to do um, because we are facing um, some, some specialists or from um, professionals that were not used to to deal with these kind of issues uh, related to PV systems because PV systems are normally designed and and, and built uh, with a very high quality and um, uh, very few people are considering recycling possibilities within PV systems. So this was not a, a direct uh, task to do. Um, and finally, of course, the involvement of, of the different suppliers and, and manufacturers that um, need to, to participate in a PV plan. Um, then we demonstrate, demonstrated this uh, PV system. Um, we did uh, a couple of uh, pilot uh, installations and um, that enabled us the demonstration also of the uh, industrial networks that could be built around a PV system. In this series of photographs, um, as an example, 
it can be seen how we um, managed to, to reuse some um, uh, parts of the structure of the PV modules that came from the dismantling of our printer's production line from HP, actually, close to Barcelona. So all the profiles were collected and uh, were adapted to 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 to, use, to serve to be used as the support for the PV uh, panels, as you can see in this in this photograph. Finally, um, the results we have achieved. Um, we had set ourselves um, uh, a list of, of different goals uh, to achieve um, within the the zero wind project and the specific application to PV plants. The goals we had were to increase the system lifetime, the PV system lifetime, um, the increase of the performance ratio, as I mentioned before, the efficiency, the reusability of some uh, parts as much as we could, uh, parts, components of the PV system, and of course, the increase of the, of the total energy that could be produced uh, in these new uh, advanced systems as compared to the baselines we had. In this table, you can see the, the results we've achieved. Um, we are quite happy. Um, as I said, we, the baseline in PV system was quite uh, quite tight already, so it was not easy to to improve um, um, from the baseline. But we managed to do so, um, and we are particularly happy uh, about the increase of the efficiency, the performance ratio hmm? in both configurations, both the standalone and uh, the grid connected or the smart grid configuration. Mm -hmm. uh, when we evaluate the performance of this, the achievement of these practical demonstrators in the light of the targets that the Zero Wind project had, we had very, very clear targets in terms of greenhouse gas emissions um, decreasing. We fulfilled this target and even more. We achieved a 45% decrease uh, of greenhouse gas emissions with respect to baseline. Uh, with the baseline, and um, the target was 30%. So we achieved that in both cases, both configurations, standalone and smart grid. In terms of fresh water utilization, we we achieved the target in the case of the smart grid, uh, grid connected um, configuration. For the case of um, standalone, it was not possible to achieve the, the target of 75% reduction, we, we uh, managed to push it up to 41% decrease. And the last uh, target we had, the overall uh, increase of reuse and recycling, um, we, we also hit that target, uh, reaching 91% rate in both configurations. As general conclusions, the the D4R uh, principles um, that we were working on this project uh, have uh, we have proved that, that they are applicable and, and, and very valued by all the stakeholders chain. It is has been possible to reuse components even in a very high tech sector as uh, PV PV plants or PV systems. It has proved to be difficult to engage the water reduction, fresh water reduction, and the heat um, re uh, utilization in, in this industrial network. Um, basically, because uh, issues of, of distance between the different uh, possible um, um, uh, nodes or, or factories in the industrial network. So, water is uh, the only environmental target that was a bit, a bit tough to, to work with. In, Plans, but still some progress can be done. And finally, the prioritization of local suppliers when we uh, think of resource exchange platforms and uh, recycle or, or the use of materials is essential, has been uh, proven to be essential in our page. So thank you very much for your attention. Uh, these are my contact details and we are very happy to, to share more information uh, for anybody who is interested in our work. Thank you very much.